I guess, quick uh, video here talking about what you need to be prepared for for the test coming up for chapter one. Um, just like we do in class, I know B-Day students are not going to have a review day in class. Uh, so you got the review at home on big ideas, and then I'm going to talk about it here. If you have any questions, make sure you're asking either in person or uh, over email. Let's, let's make sure that we are ready for this test, even more so than we were the quiz. Uh, first thing, you got vocab, right? We talked about that before. Same sort of stuff that you saw on the quiz. So we're talking um, point line plane, collinear versus coplanar, knowing the difference there. Uh, your different types of angles. So straight angle, right angle, obtuse, acute, um, segment bisector, angle bisector, right? Those sorts of things are the ones that are going to be on there. Uh, we're going to see segment addition postulate, where you got to add the two smaller parts together to equal the whole big thing. Uh, just like that, we have angle addition postulate, where you add the two smaller angles together to equal the big angle, right? So everything that you see with segments, you're going to see with angles as well. Um, you're going to see midpoint problems, uh, finding the midpoint on a coordinate plane, right? Average of the x's, average of the y's, but then also uh, midpoint where it shows you the segment. It says m is the midpoint, gives you an expression, you know, 3x plus 10, 2x minus 5, find, find the, the lengths, right? So that's set the two equal to each other and then solve it. That's different than segment addition. A segment addition is when they give you those two things, but then they tell you the whole thing is 35, right? Then you can set that up and solve it. If it doesn't give you the whole thing, it's probably a midpoint. We're probably going to have to uh, set those two equal to each other. Uh, area and perimeter in a coordinate plane. So making sure you know your distance formula. Very important to know distance formula. Um, let's see, what else? So we talked about segment bisector or midpoint with the two halves equal to each other. Same thing with a, an angle bisector with the two angles equal to each other. Okay, be ready for that. Uh, we got to know our supplementary angles, our complementary angles, know the difference there. Um, we got to know adjacent angles. We got to know vertical angles, uh, linear pair. We got to know that. We got to be able to solve problems like we saw in 1.6 where it was um, these two are complementary, find the angle. Well, we're going to add them together, set it equal to 90. It's just an angle addition postulate problem, really. Um, and then also um, where it was, you got two angles that form a linear pair. One is two times bigger than the complement, or two times bigger than the other angle. What are the angles, right? Something like that, being able to set that up and solve it. You still got to be able to name things, right? It's still chapter one here, so you got to name lines and segments and rays um, and be able to say where they intersect. Remember, intersect is any points that they have in common, any and all points that they share or have in common. Uh, let's see, converse, uh, or not converse, convex versus concave, know the difference there. You need to know those polygon names, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, right? All of those, got to know those. Um, vertical angles I mentioned, linear pair I mentioned. Um, yeah, the the one that we went over in class was, uh, and B-Day, we haven't done it yet, but find the complement of 2x plus 10, right? And that's 90 minus, and then in parentheses, 2x plus 10, where we have to distribute that negative sign in. Um, we will see that, okay? You will see that, so be careful on it. A um, couple of those those story problems where we have, you know, you're going from your house or, or school to your house and the post office is in the middle and it's this many miles here and this number of miles total. Uh, those types of questions where we just have to set it up and, and really know what we're talking about and, and where what value is. Uh, remember, round trip is there and back. That's important too. Uh, we're looking at 22 questions, including the extra credit. Remember, vocab just counts as one. So a little bit more than the quiz, uh, and this is on Monday. So make sure that you're ready to go. Email any questions, ask any questions. Make sure that you're ready to go um, on that quiz. Or sorry, on the test, not quiz, on the test.